offense to defense and being more seamless, right? On that defensive end, getting after it, but on offensive, taking better shots as we see a wild one go up for Virginia. She's answered the bell, and now a steal by Paris Clark in the front court. Johnson again, nobody to pass to. How did that stay in? But it did. And here comes Notre Dame on the break. It's Hidalgo all alone. Westbelt trying to get her shot off the heel, and here comes Paris Clark the other way. Clark all the way. Tough shot in the crowd. I'm going to take it. She came into this game only shooting 17%, but is able to see it go through. But Notre Dame responds in perfect timing. Rebound collected. There's DeWolf. Bounce pass into Citron. Not mixing him up anymore. Notre Dame up eight. And that's the shot one. she's usually able to make there. It's four for four from the free throw line, but here Notre Dame has taken it the other way, and they are off oh, to the races. What a pass. DeWolf couldn't corral it. Laid it off for Citron, who blew the layup. Her and Citron's return to the lineup has been so huge for Notre Dame. Really makes them a contender to try and repeat for if not the regular season title, the Notre Dame's certainly going to have those plays called, like you said, to go at her more. Especially with the experience that Notre Dame has outside of Hidalgo. This time going at Clarkson and the layup from Kylie Watson. Your whole weekend has already been planned for you. Johnson. And stolen by Notre Dame. Citron looking far up the floor. Gets to Wolf and an easy layup. They have 19 points off of turnovers right now to Virginia's two and it all it has to do with them switching up looks. One difference in a game and in this game it's points off turnovers for Notre Dame. Points off turnovers getting it done. Notre Dame trying to turn that into the run that can end this game for them. Virginia's offense has been known to get into some spouts of struggle and it's deja vu another steal up top to Hidalgo and Notre Dame is cooking on defense. They have 19 points off of turnovers right now to Virginia's two and it all it has to do with them switching up looks and completely controlling the pace you can see here even Notre Dame is in a different type of look defensively it's matchup zone where they're able to get in those passing lanes and another fast break that's the third foul on Lauterbach open shot in the corner Westbeld hits it and this is getting dangerous for Virginia Notre Dame's trying to end this one in three baseline pass Citron the extra pass is there, but Hidalgo bobbled it, goes to her right, has the bucket and the foul. Yeah, she leads this team in scoring and rebounds and hasn't been able to do much of either in this game. Oh, another long ball on the fast break, and it sits home that lays it in. Just a telepathic connection to hook that play up. Is it McGee? No, she missed the three, but... That's the type of look she can make. Bounce pass, beautiful to Citron, and another assist for Hidalgo. Conditioning is A-OK -okay because they are going to run you all night long. It still feels noteworthy. Virginia's just been so physical, the Fighting Irish. Noyan, the Swede, getting minutes. Citron to the basket, and she scores again. The shot clock got reset along the way because of Virginia possession, so Notre Dame's still going to go quickly. It's Citron. Trying to get it to DeWolf, but now it's Citron. You know what's coming. She picked up her dribble. Hidalgo with six to shoot. Hidalgo, of course, and one. That's Hidalgo does such a good job of finishing with contact at the rim, and she even went up with her right hand on the left side to take advantage of the contact she felt early on. Beast on the this was a game of quarters, a game of runs, and a game that Notre Dame has won 86 to 76.